And today's adventure starts with this old F-350 pickup truck. It looks like this thing has hauled a lot of things for a lot of miles. And I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is its final resting place. Well, it is a beautiful day out today in Minnetrista, Minnesota after a long week of rain. And today, I thought we'd start off with a little bit of love. <laughs> Somebody once said, love is all you need, and I tend to agree. We are at Big Stone Miniature Golf Course here in Minnetrista, Minnesota. And this is rated one of the best mini golf courses in all the land. And so that's why I thought I would check it out here today. Looks like there's going to be a lot to see, lots of things to check out and photograph. And welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. This should be a lot of fun here. So come on with me. Let's go see what there is to see. Before we get started here today, I would just like to say a quick thank you to my friend Maureen for suggesting this location. And if you have any ideas for adventures that I can go on in the future, just leave a comment below. I'd always love to hear from you. It's kind of weird to think that at one time this was somebody's brand new tractor. And they were like, this is going to make my life so much easier. And look at the shine on that baby. And now the years go by, and there it sits. It's kind of weird to think that someday someone might be saying a similar thing about my Kia Optima. On one of my previous adventures in Iowa, there's a place called Ryman Gardens. They have a lot of kinetic sculptures like this that move with the breeze. I like that, that's pretty cool. And if you're looking for a comfortable place to sit down, have I got a chair for you. <laughs> big Stone Mini Golf Course has a Big Stone huge chair. <laughs> Enough to seat the whole family. And if you're looking for a cool place to take a break, we got a little table here featuring something Minnesotans are very familiar with. Gloves and mittens. <laughs> this is probably one of the coolest little picnic tables I've ever seen. Very creative. Well, Minneapolis is known for its sculpture gardens that features the cherry and spoon. And Minnetrista has the cherry and the spoon and live goats. <laughs> well played, Minnetrista. Well played. Well, hello there, Mr. Goat. How are you today? Welcome to Tommy Travels. What do you have going on? Just hanging out in the sunshine with a few friends? Yeah, that looks pretty relaxing, if you ask me. Well, I don't want to bother you too much. It looks like you're just having a little bit of me time. And I definitely understand that, so I wish you well and carry on. Well, Minnesota is known for its mosquitoes. And so someone has made a sculpture of one right here, representing the actual size of a Minnesota mosquito. And what do we have here? 
Looks like we've got a gal that's ready to go for a little swim in the pond here. But if I were you, ma'am, I probably would maybe postpone that to another day. <laughs> Or maybe keep it over to that side of the old pond there. <laughs> and there are so many sculptures out here too. That even when you look at normal things like that right there. You wonder is that a sculpture or a random pile of brush? <laughs> Not a random pile of brush obviously but it makes you think for a second. <laughs> it's the kind of place this is. Look at this. They've even got this old greenhouse in here. And I was going to go inside and check it out. See a little stove pipe in there. But the place is swarmed with bees right now, apparently. So I'm not going to step inside. And here's another chair that doesn't look quite as inviting as the one that we saw as we were coming in, the big stone one. <laughs> and if you tip over, you could get very wet. And very green. Here's another cool sculpture, a rock that goes all the way up. And there's a lady who is brave enough to stand on the very top. <laughs> Some place that I will not be going today, <laughs> that is for sure. Well, this really is officially the best mini golf course I've ever seen or been to because it's the only one that includes a fire pit with a place to sit down and relax and roast some marshmallows. And I'm not even joking about the marshmallows either, you guys. If you look right over here, I saw a guy come through here a little bit earlier. And he brought in some fresh marshmallows with some marshmallow sticks there. And it looks like this little area is a Stonehenge theme. It's very cool. Yep. If you're ever going to play mini golf, this is the place to do it. It's $10 to just go do a round of mini golf, or you can walk around and take pictures and videos like I'm doing for absolutely free. That is a good deal. It doesn't get any better than that. It's unbelievable. Everywhere you point the camera, it's just another great picture. Well, I always like making new friends. And it looks like I've happened upon Mr. Turtle. I just met Mr. Goat there a little ways back, and so it's nice to meet you as well. And I like turtles too. Anytime I run into a turtle, it makes me think of a really bad Dana Carvey movie. Where the only line I remember from the movie, and I don't even think I saw it, was, what's the matter? Aren't I turtly enough for you? <laughs> so if you remember what movie that is, put a comment down below. Let me know. Well, I kind of feel like Grizzly Adams here today. I'm seeing all types of animals, and I was just looking around here in the field. And look who comes up to me. I've got a beautiful little horse. A goat, a donkey, <laughs> a whole farm. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I've got the whole animal kingdom. I feel like I'm in a Disney movie right now. Hello, sir. Welcome to Tommy Travels. Very good to see you, guy. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be petting animals at the mini golf course today. But here we are. He likes to be petted, it looks like. Good to see you. Did you ever feel like life just has you 
chained down into one spot so you can't go anywhere. Well, this guy definitely knows exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> and here we have another kinetic sculpture that is powered only by the wind. And I love filming these things when there's not a cloud in the sky. Very beautiful. And we have a little miniature airplane out here, which is very cool. And it looks like we have a pig as the pilot of this fine aircraft. So it only makes sense that the nose cone art would be Miss Piggy. <laughs> and if you have kids who have birthdays, who like parties, this is a good place to do it. And then that's right next to this guy right here, my favorite sculpture in this whole place. <laughs> it's a sculpture slash riddle. Can you figure it out? That's right. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> uh, that's the best thing I've seen all day. And in addition to the sculpture garden, they've got a real old boat that kids can climb up on and jump aboard, pretend like they're driving. And what I like about this is it comes complete with a treasure chest <laughs> and octopus. This place is so amazing. Every place you go, there's a little place to rest and have some lunch, hang out, play some golf, or even a giant game of chess. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody forgot where they parked their bike about 80 years ago. <laughs> it's still missing. It sure is beautiful out here and as we take a look at one more of the many many sculptures here at Big Stone Mini Golf Course here in Minatrista, Minnesota. I want to let you know that all of the stuff that I've shown you here today <laughs> doesn't even include anything that they have on the actual mini golf course itself. So there's a lot of things if you want to come up here to be able to see that aren't even in this video. So uh, if you're in this area or even if you're not in this area, make sure you come and check this place out because it is amazing. And here we have another tranquil water feature at the end of another episode of Tommy Travels. And this was a very successful day. We got to see a big stone chair, lots of cool sculptures, and even live goats <laughs> on a beautiful, beautiful day. And if you guys liked what you saw here today, please go ahead and hit like on my YouTube channel. And then just go ahead and hit subscribe and the bell notification next to it just gives you future updates on videos that are yet to come. And if you'd like to hook up on Facebook or Instagram, just go to Tommy Travel Stop Fun. It's got my current and previous video there and there's a lot of ways to get a hold of me so please check it out and uh, also share this with friends and help spread the word. We're looking to get some more subscribers and grow the Tommy Travels family. So once again, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to catch you on the flip side.
Thank you.